Hi all, welcome to Simple Engineering, Engineering Simplified. I am Dr. Neetu Rahul. Today we are going to discuss about rectifiers in the specifically dealing with half wave rectifiers. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Let's move to the video. Rectifiers a rectifier is a device that converts AC to DC that is alternating current to a direct current. And this rectifier that is classified into two types, half way rectifiers and full way rectifiers. In that full way rectifier is of two types, biphase rectifiers and bridge rectifiers. So what is a half way rectifier? So rectifier means it will convert AC to DC. So the simplest form of rectifier circuit makes use of a single diode and it operates in either positive or negative half cycle of the supply. So you can see that an alternating voltage is shown here and a pulsating DC output. So this is like in the half wave only it will operate in either a positive or a negative half cycle. So half wave rectifier, a semiconductor diode that is used to convert alternating current to a direct current is called a rectifier and the simplest form of rectifier circuit it uses a single diode and operates only in the positive or negative half cycle of the supply. And in the input we are giving the mains voltage that is 240 voltage, 220 to 240 voltage that is applied to the primary of a step down transformer. So you have a step down transformer here. In the primary you are giving the 240 voltage. It will step down to 12 volt over here. So in the secondary of the transformer it will step down the 240 volt to 12 volt. So you will be getting 12 volt in the secondary of the transformer and you have a diode and a load resistance is connected. So the operation of half way rectifier. So here you can see that in the figure A, step down transformer is there, you have a diode. So when this diode is forward biased, that is during the positive half cycle. So you can see that on the positive half cycle, this will be positive. Diode is forward biased, so it will act as a closed switch and the current flows in the direction that is shown here. So it will be from the diode D1 then it will pass through the resistance RL and it will come to the negative so from positive to negative and in the figure B you can see that there is no current flow because in the negative half cycle this diode will be will behave or act like an open switch that is reversed bias so in this negative half cycle it will be from positive resistance RL you have the diode which is reverse bias so it will act as an open switch so there will be no current flow. So operation of half way rectifier you can see here you have a diode D1 that will be in forward biased condition so it will be a closed switch. So in the input we are giving V in so that will come in the secondary as a step down so the diode is forward bias so it will act as a closed switch so your current flow will be from A to B like it will flow from A that is positive it will pass through the diode which is closed a switch then through the resistance and it will reach as the point B so you will get the output in the positive half cycle. So that is shown here, already we have seen this diagram where D1 is closed to switch so current flow will be like this. Then the negative half cycle, so positive half cycle we have already seen, we have got a step down voltage here and the output is already we have got because D1 is closed to switch. Next is the negative half cycle, you can see that the diode will be in reversed biased condition so it will act as an open switch diode is reverse biased so there will be no current flow 
at that time you will be getting the output like this because there is no diode is not conducting so you can see the waveforms of half wave rectifier input voltage v in and your output voltage or voltage across the load that is first half positive half diode d1 is forward by so you will be getting an output over here next is the negative half cycle your diode is reverse biased so you are not getting an output next is again the positive half cycle so this will get repeated over here so you will be getting a pulsating output voltage as your output in the across your load resistance so operation of half wave rectifier we can see that in the positive half cycle your diode d1 is forward biased you, there is a current flow and in the negative half cycle diode d1 is reverse biased so there is no current flow so the switching action of the diode d1 results in a pulsating output voltage that will be developed across your load resistance rl since the main supply is at 50 hertz the pulses of voltage developed across this load resistance rl will also be 50 hertz so positive half cycle there will be a drop across the diode that is 0.6 to 0.7 volt it is a forward threshold voltage that is associated with the silicon diodes during the negative half cycle the peak ac voltage will be dropped across d1 when it is reverse biased there is no current flow and we are assuming that the secondary of this t1 it provides 12 volt rms and the peak voltage output from the transformer secondary winding will be given as v peak peak voltage is equal to 1.414 into v rms so v rms you will be getting over here that is 12 volt so it will be 16.97 volt the peak voltage applied to d1 that is your diode d1 will be approximately 17 volt in the negative half cycle d1 uh, the negative half cycles are blocked by d1 because it is open circuit d1 is in open it will act as open switch and thus only positive half cycles appear across the load resistance rl so the actual peak voltage across rl will be 17 volt that is supplied from the secondary of the transformer minus the 0.7 volt that is your forward threshold voltage so therefore 17 minus that 0.7 volt that is 16.3 volt will appear across this rl hope this is clear for everyone if you find this useful please share it with others thank you